one does apologise for the uh, complexion. Uh, I suffer really, really bad with hay fever. And today's heat and uh, pollen has really got hold of me. And maybe the odd beer as well. So, today we are reviewing. And when I seen this come out, I thought, I've got to try this. Well, to be fair, I try every single beer that comes from um, Lincoln Green. As I do most local breweries, to be fair. Support your local breweries. Cask is back. Hashtag. Old Bailey. I love the name. I get where you're going. This is an Irish cream pale ale at 3.8%. Now, I've actually just been at the house. The top has already actually been opened. Because I've just been at the house and gave the wife some. She loves um, Bailey's and she loves... Oh, it smells bloody awesome. Um, she loves Bailey's. Baileys and she loves these um, Baileys like milkshake type jobbies but she's not a beer fan sadly she drank it and it wasn't for her so it says on the back I thought it might have been there because you can smell it it smells gorgeous um, yeah not that side so Oof. Inspired by the blend of whiskey and cream, this pale ale has the unmis unmistakable aroma of the classic cream liqueur, pale gold. And I've got to be honest, all I can smell on the aroma is Bailey's. And as a real fan of Bailey's, I can smell it massively. And uh, how the hell they got that to smell in that makes me curious. Uh, so, yeah. We're looking at a golden pour with a centimetre of right end. One does apologise, got a 15 year old, mm -hmm. he is actually 15 now, um, Cocker Spaniel, who's nutty as hell. Sadly, he's on his later years, but he still runs around like a nutter. Um, on the nose. <sighs> Pigless. <sighs> it's balmy. Absolutely bomb to get the smell of Baileys in a beer. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear. It, making me smile. So the aroma gives away. Most beer reviewers out there, most of the best beer reviewers, you'll look. You look at them. You don't look about what they're saying. You look at their reaction, you look at the smile, you look at the the eyes widening, the aroma, and the, you know, you see that and you don't need words. Words don't mean nothing. They already tell you already that they love the beer. On the aroma, definitely Irish cream all day long. On the taste, a beery, malty flavour with an unmis unmistakable Irish cream Irish cream flavour to it. This is where my wife didn't like it because she isn't a fan of beer, whereas I am, obviously. And to say it's only 3.8%. And this is from a brewery I class as a more traditional brewery, even though they do some amazing beers. Um, not, not per se a craft brewery. Although I do understand the, um, you know, their range of beers that are classed as more crafty. It's intriguing it's um that maltiness and the ice cream coming together it's uh it's it's different it's it's like nothing i've ever tasted before from a beer i 
this is at room temperature so is cold better does cold bring out more certain flavors or does the room temperature bring out more flavors always the interesting thing with any beer as to um you know what is the optimum flavor it's not always what you think it is you know with, with all beers they have a certain flavor where it, bring, it brings out certain aromas certain flavor you know and this is one of those beers that um it challenges both the, the, the um, from chilled and from room temperature. And the Irish cream taste, it, it's still coming through. It's resonating around the mouth. Whoa. It's very different beastie this is it's intriguing it's complex it, it makes me smile yeah, yeah it's so good it is it's good it's different it's uh it's um it's just it's, different. it's quirky and it's it's like baileys in the beer but baileys it's not trying to be a milkshake beer it's not trying to be a craft beer where it's where you can tell that they've gone for the all in baileys experience which is the sort of thing my wife actually would prefer. That's her, her cup of tea. She's in. She's wanting that milkshake beer that, that you don't really get the taste of beer, but you do get the taste of milk, lactose or whatever. But unmistakable, the Irish cream. That's the sort of thing she's after. Um, will it happen one day? Hopefully. Because if I can get that for the wife that's brewed regular, I'll go and buy 100 quid's worth in one go just so I know she's got enough. It's not about the ABV for her, 4% is, is fine. She don't want to get drunk, but she loves that taste of the, the, the Baileys, the Irish cream in, in um, an alcoholic drink. But an alcoholic drink that's, you know, more like a milkshake than, than a beer. So for me, this is interesting because it's, it is more like, um, more like a normal beer. It looks like a normal beer, doesn't it? You wouldn't have no. If I was to show you that, it just looks like a normal best bitter. And then you look at it, and then you smell it, and you get the taste, and it's like, oh my gosh, what is this? Um, this is a cracker. This is one of those beers that comes along every once in a while, and just grabs you uh, in certain regions, and it says, uh, changes your perception of what the what it's about. You know, it's. Um, it's quirky, it's that loving aroma. Oh my gosh, no swearing like it. This needs to go on cask in the pubs. And just to challenge people in the pubs. Um, I think it'd be a good seller, personally. I think it's interesting in a bottle. I do want to get a few more bottles at some stage. Got some good friends coming up for the Nottingham and um, um, hopefully Robin Hood beer festivals, and uh, looking forward to to getting a bottle for them each, uh, beer reviewers, and just seeing how, how it goes with all the beer reviewers. You know, it's um, it's interesting, it's quirky, it's different, and uh, yeah, I will be spouting on about this. Bailey's in a beer. <laughs> that eight minutes in, I need to knock, knock off a bit quicker. I spent about nearly two hours down the shed, so I don't be too long. To the head brewer at Lincoln Green, I'm not sure who you, what your name is. I'm not, I'm, I don't know honestly, but I know, I know the, I know the big man is Anthony. Fair play, mate. This is a cracker, absolute cracker. It's made me smile. It's not about the ABV. People think that they look at me a lot of the time and they think, oh, he just likes the strong beers. No, no, no. I like the beers that break the boundaries, beers that come from nowhere and just give you a good slap in and say, take that. That's a beer you've not had before. This is one of those. It's um, it's interesting. Is it a beer you can drink five or six of? I'm not so sure. But it's a beer that the first time you drink it, you will smile. It brings your love of beers back. Those are the sort of beers, you know, you must never, you know, it's, it's all about that. You go to a pub, you drink a beer and you're like, 
bloody hell. This is different. Nearly swore then. And uh, yeah, it was on the, on, on, the, on the verge. And it's like, wow, this is different. And um, oh. am I happy camper drinking this? Yes, by far. And I suppose it, it depends if you're a fan of Baileys. I have been a fan of Baileys since I was probably about 18. So 31 years now. Um, that's only because I'm turning 50 this year. 50. Where, where did the years go? Hey, still the kid now. <laughs> I've never grown up. But anyway. Um, this just blows me out of the water. Irish cream pale ale. Um, this is like a craft beer, but done traditional. So it's not trying to be a, a full on craft beer, but it's bringing craft beer flavors into the traditional beer market. That's how I see it. I may see it wrong, but that's how, that's how I see it. Um, and this is just absolute gobsmacking. That aroma, that aroma was so bang on to, and to point. You, you cannot believe it, you know. In, to come from something that you would class as a traditional beer, uh, to, to have that aroma in a traditional beer, in a pale ale, um, stunning, absolutely stunning. The aroma would be a 4.9. It's that good. You know, it's done that well. Um, Taste-wise, obviously, you always gonna. It's always gonna be the aroma batters the taste. Let's be fair. The taste is still good, but the aroma was just something unbelievable. And like I say, my wife, the aroma, and she's like, oh, the taste, the beer element wasn't for her. She needs like a chocolate milkshake type of beer for to, for her to to like it. For me, absolutely loved it. You know, it's that combination. It's like that. It's not like a bridge. It's like a bridge between beer and Baileys and um, oh, beer. Yeah, fair play. Um, good feeling. Good feeling. Call it old Baileys. Um, but um, yeah, Irish cream pale ale in a beer. How wacky is that? Um, truly, truly awesome. Truly awesome. It's made me smile. It's good. This is what beer reviewing is about. This is why I love doing beer reviews. It's it's just now and again something comes along that absolutely startles you. So, um, on the nose all day long, Irish cream on the nose. In the taste, Irish cream, uh, malt. You know, it's like a it's like a, um, a standard beer, but with an Irish cream flavour. Basically, you know, not calling it standard in any way. You know. Without being off, you know, sounding wrong. I don't want to sound wrong. That's not the way I am. Um, so, like a multi beer with an Irish cream on the top, sort of thing. But wow, what a taste! So here, here comes the awkward point. Would I drink it again? With any beer, would you drink it again? That's above any score ever. Because if you won't drink it again, then the score matters not. Would I drink it again? Yes, I want to drink it on cask. Um, at five, that reminds me, strawberries and cream. Is it Lincoln Green? Robin Hood and Little John's Lincoln Green pub. I need to go and get. A, I need to go and get a, a bit on draft. Even if I can't go in the pub because uh, of anxiety issues and all that, I need to get myself a pint of it for review purposes. But uh, great to see these beers coming out. I love the variation of beers. Um, out of five. Oh, now. Now then. As a certain dodgy BBC bloke would say. Um, out of five. Hmm. So here we have the thing. The aroma is like nothing you've seen in a beer. I've not smelt an aroma like that on any single beer I've ever smelt. Um, the Irish cream is perfect. 
Perfect. Yeah. Uh, out of five. Taste wise, Irish cream on the taste, malty, more beer like experience. Not the experience that my wife's looking for, but an experience that I I do like. Um ooh. Ooh. out of five then. A good five a good four point five two out of five. Very, very nice, very different, very good. And if you're a fan of Baileys, wow. I'm also a beer drinker. Um, this is going to be a very interesting beer. This could be your new number one. Depends how many beers you've had before, but um, yeah, exceptional, exceptional. Right. That's it for this beer review. 16 minutes. Wow. That's what we got. The yakking. Thank you everyone for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing. Lincoln Green. Some beer that was. Wow. Cheers.